Good morning and a very warm welcome to our worship here at Balthron Parish Church this morning. I'm bringing you this welcome from a very sunny Isle of Jersey. Just as you can join the service from anywhere in the world, so we can bring the service to you from anywhere in the world. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods for his steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords, for his steadfast love endures forever. Psalm 103 Praise the Lord my soul, and all my innermost being praise his holy name. Praise the Lord my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things, so that your mouth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed, he made known his way to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he, nor will he harbour his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve, or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As the Father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. The life of mortals is like grass. They flourish like a flower of the field. The wind blows over it and it is gone. And in its place remembers no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him and his righteousness with their children's children, 
and those who keep his covenant and remember to obey his precepts. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who obey the, his word. Praise the Lord, all you heavenly hosts, you servants who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his works everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, my soul. Amen. The Bible is full of promises. Promises that God has made to us. Thousands of them. We will hear some of those promises in our readings, songs and prayer. I'm going to concentrate on a psalm today. We all know Psalm 23. It is comforting, it's calming and it is full of God's promises. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. In verse 1, it says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Our loving God is taking care of me and watching over me. I am his precious lamb. He is guarding me because he loves me. He will lift me up when I need to be carried and wrap me in his loving arms. He knows me personally and he calls me by name. I have everything I need now and everything I will need in the days and years ahead. God is our loving Heavenly Father and we have his promise that he will care for us, provide for us and keep us from harm. In verse 2 it states, He makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside still waters. God gives me what I need. He knows me better than I know myself and knows what's best for me. He gives me food for the soul with the beauty that's all around me. I'm surrounded by blessings. He gives me times and places to rest and relax and to talk to him. He gives me what I need to cope with all situations. He makes beautiful places and spaces where we can talk to him, listen and look after our spiritual needs. We need to make time to visit these quiet places with him. And verse 3 says, He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. God is the only one who can make me feel better. He restores my soul and my spirit. He led me to him through his word and through those who taught me. I am thankful for uplifting hymns of praise. I am so thankful for his instruction on how to try to lead my life to glorify him. By reading his word, joining together in worship, praising and praying and listening to him, we learn how to be like him. We can then show by our actions that he is in our lives. In Matthew 7, 16, it says, By their fruits you shall know them. Verse 4 says, 
Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Even though I go through darkness and difficulties, so painful to bear, I am not afraid of Satan. You have defeated him and you are on my side. Day by day you provide whatever I need to endure pain or difficulties I encounter. Simply having your presence beside me is everything I need for comfort in the storm. You lift us up, strengthen us and you love us. We can then use our experiences to comfort others and encourage them. Reading from verse 5a, it says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You are using these struggles to prepare me for something great. Satan sees you changing his evil plan into something good instead. Anyone who would laugh at me or mock me for being a Christian, they will see me blessed and honoured as your child. You are asking me to acknowledge you as my father in front of everyone and stand up and be counted as your child. Verse 5b says, You anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. You honour me when I am brought through the darkness into the light. I realise how many amazing blessings I have and how your love and faithfulness sustain me. If I try to count all your blessings towards me, then more than can be numbered. Every day, if I count every little blessing, I will be thankful. I look round me and see all the gifts you have given me because you are a generous and loving God. And finally, in verse six, promises. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. No matter what the situation is, God is good all of the time. I am with him now and will forever be in his presence and peace. God keeps his promise to us that he will be with us always. He'll never leave us alone and his promise is of better days to come when we shall rejoice with him and the angels in the kingdom of heaven forevermore. Amen. John chapter 3 verses 16 to 21 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but people loved darkness instead of light, because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light, and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light, so that it may be seen plainly that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. Let us pray. Lord, you are indeed our shepherd, and we are your flock. Thank you that you are ever watchful over us. Forgive us when we stray, and you have to rescue us, leading us back to the green pastures and quiet river. You know that life is hard at times, but you are always there to guide us in the 
right direction, taking away our fears. The promise of this guidance, comfort, provision of our needs is awesome, and we praise and thank you. Your word tells us that when two or three are gathered together, you will listen and grant their prayers. We pray now that our lives may be lived in such a way to lead others to you, so that they can know you and your love for them. Help us to always be conscious that we have so much, that it is our responsibility to share what we can with others. Be with charities who are doing this here at home and worldwide, helping to provide your word, food, water and medical aid. Keep these workers safe as they do their jobs. Be with governments, local and national, around the world. Help them to seek peace, justice and equality for all. The world is still in the grip of a pandemic and we thank you for scientists who have produced vaccines and pray for medical staff as they treat people asking for strength to face the tasks that they are doing. So many people have found these times challenging in various ways. Today we think of people who are struggling with mental illness, that they would know you are with them all the time to help them and bring them peace. Be with young people at school and students going to university. We pray that they will be able to look forward to a full year of learning without any disruption. As more businesses and opportunities to mix and meet people open up, we pray that we will be responsible in our actions in caring for each other. We pray in the words of Psalm 23 that goodness and mercy and love will follow us all the days of our lives and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day in our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I'll worship your holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before.
draws near and my time has come still my soul will sing your praise on any day That's us come to the end of our service for today. We're so glad that you've been able to join us. I'm going to close the service by saying a Gallic blessing which some of you may be familiar with. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, the rain fall soft upon your fields, and until we meet again, May God hold you in the palm of his hand. Amen.